iPhone 6 AA chip has proven to be more powerful than we thought. Luxury watchmakers are starting to make a big deal about smartwatch phases, and Samsung seems to already consider a massive corporate shakeup. I'm Jaime Rivera, and believe it or not, even though it is Monday, I haven't complained the whole day. But I'm about to start. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as uh, watchmakers are already starting to complain about smartwatch watch phases because these look a lot, if not identical, to their current designs. Companies like Omega have already filed for a takedown notice for companies to remove their Omega type watch phases for Android Wear because obviously it infringes in some way to whatever it is that they patented. Really interesting as uh, watch phases aren't really ripping something off. I mean, we have a photo of a Ferrari in the background of whatever smartphone that we have, and it doesn't mean that we're ripping off the design of the Ferrari, but then again, they could have a point as well. Leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think. Up next, let's talk about Qualcomm, as the company is already teasing that they will have demo hardware running the Snapdragon 810 processor with a, a ton of very interesting specifications, 6.2 inch Quad HD display, four gigs of RAM, a lot of crazy things. The only problem is you will not be able to buy this product, or at least uh, it depends. It depends on what the company's planning, but apparently this is an $800 unit a smartphone that'll probably be ready for the end of the year, but that will only be sold for specific companies. I'm really sure what the idea is here. We did see some dev hardware at CES at some point, and most likely this is what we will see at CES when we cover it live next year. And speaking of very interesting specifications, let's talk about the Sony Xperia Z4. We've got details on what we're getting. Snapdragon 805 uh, with a lot of power, but uh, interesting. We're getting four gigs of RAM, just like with the Snapdragon 810 which is interesting. We should be getting this Xperia Z4 by MWC next year. In addition to the fact that apparently we are getting a 20 megapixel camera again, but this time with a new sensor, hopefully bigger pixels as well. There's a lot to wait for this new Sony Xperia, especially new design changes. But let's see why we're getting such early design changes and cycles and everything. I'm not sure it's really helping Sony out. Another product that has proven to be powerful, or at least more powerful than we thought and that even the company touts, is the Apple A8 chip. Interesting, there were some recent tests conducted on the smartphone with 4K video. At no point Apple tells us that the phone can reproduce 4K video with these graphics on the A8 chip, and uh, the test conducted by a developer proved that the phone can, it's actually capable of doing so. Uh, without the need of tweaking anything, no hardware changes, the phone is just capable of doing so, which is really interesting as uh, the question is, with 4K becoming a thing, is it really a point to be able to do this on a 750p display or 1080p display in the case of the iPhone 6 Plus? And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, the Wall Street Journal is already talking about Samsung and some big corporate shakeup to happen very soon in the mobile division after so many losses with the Galaxy S5. The report claims that apparently JK Shin will be replaced with BK Yoon. Okay, JK Shin is the current CEO of mobile devices. BK Yoon is the current CEO of all the area that has to do with home appliances like refrigerators and TVs. And apparently they're going to add JK Shin's functions to you. Uh, so you'd wonder, why is it if right now we have issues with smartphones, is it a good idea to give more of that work to somebody else and not just hire another CEO or what the idea is going to be? It makes sense according to the report because apparently Samsung wants to create the connected home idea and they want uh, the home appliances area to get along with the mobile division. But that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that that connected home concept is really what's going to help Samsung uh, uh, find some limelight? Because in my case, honestly, I don't. I think that JK Shin is the guy that's responsible for making Samsung what it is right now when it comes to mobile devices, and the guy just needs a break. Or probably, yeah, some other assignment or something like that, but I don't think the idea is to get rid of the guy. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.